Hi guys, my name is Rifat and welcome back to WIC channel. Uh, so today we'll be doing um, the, the pros and cons of an RSP. Um, so we're just going to dive right into it. As you can see, I'm in my supercomputer seat. So we're just going to go right into it. So kind of no jokes, back to serious stuff. Let's hit it. <laughs> so uh, so as you can see, I kind of also built um, a, like a table with kind of all the pros and cons. So we'll start with the first pro. It's uh, you get to lower your tax your tax bracket and also you get a tax return which is very interesting so uh, so in our case we'll kind of show you uh, like, kind of a, like I just kind of had a website which I'll put the link also in the description so you guys can play with it uh, so this kind of give you an idea example you, you make 75,000 uh, and you put 13,500 in uh, RSP so it kind of gives you an idea as uh, how much you would get uh, from British Columbia you get like 3,800 roughly and Quebec 5,000, Ontario you would get 4,000. So uh, so this is just a brief idea also, just don't kind of rely on it 100%. This is also kind of give you just an idea as how much you can expect to get back when you contribute the, the 13,500. So you can play also and put your situation in so you guys kind of uh, get a brief idea. So this is the goal, you get get money back uh, at, the end of year, at the end of the year when you do your tax return and also you get to get to lower your uh, your your uh, your tax uh, tax bracket sorry uh, and also uh, you can see so when you when do retire you pay less taxes uh, so because usually you'll be in a lower tax bracket so that also you gets a great advantage so I mean now we can take an example because usually when you retire you don't necessarily need like the seventy five thousand to survive so you can have less so you pay less tax. Uh, so I just took here like a province this this also link I'll put it in the description you guys can kind of have an idea as how much does a province charge together with federal on your income so I will take the scenario of the 75,000 the guy who's paying right now is 37 percent on his income combined uh, so I mean when you do retire you will you don't need the 75 so you're going to be even lower than the 43 you now I think you have it I think the first 11,000 is non-taxed so you get that like you don't pay tax at all on that money so uh, but if you do need like 20 20,000 or 30,000 to survive you just will pay 27 percent so that's very interesting so you pay 27 instead of like 37 so if you take even Ontario like you see them here let me uh, let me zoom in I don't know if you guys can see a bit more uh, so Ontario in his scenario would be paying roughly around 29% but now because his first example you do you do take less than uh, 42,000 you'll pay 20% so let me also zoom in here so you guys can see so this is kind of going back to Quebec gonna give you an idea but anyways this all this stuff I'll put in the description so you guys can also see other provinces that do concern you and get a also an idea uh, so and also you you'll be able to still you can access the funds uh, without paying any taxes but you do need to refund the money back uh, you can access the money to example to buy a house uh, to or to go back to school uh, that I will cover a bit more in details in, an, in the next video kind of give you an idea when do you withdraw and what are the rules and regulations that surround that so I go in that details later on but you still can access it uh, the cons of it is the RSP is locked in until retirement, so you gotta get in, get that in the mind, in the head. Sorry, that you don't have access to the fund, like without if you don't want to pay taxes. Like if it's not for buying a house or going back to school, if you do withdraw, you'll pay like a crazy amount of tax. So you do not want to touch it. So it's really locked in until you retire. And early withdrawals, like really, you get the taxes plus you get a withhold tax that it's automatically taken when you start withdrawing the bank will like the financial institution will take the money and give it to the CRA and that is crazy so that also I can show you guys an example uh, the withholding tax Let me just zoom in here there you go a bit more cool so you get this so Quebec they, they even charge even more uh, so example you see as you guys can see you get for the first 5,000 you get 21 percent so I mean like you would withdraw a thousand dollars, you would get, you will have to pay Quebec to uh, twenty one percent out of that, and also you would have to declare in your taxes at the end of the year saying you got like that money. So I mean, you pay double tax. It's it's crazy. So you don't want to withdraw it. Uh, so you guys get ideas how much roughly. So this also I put in in the uh, description so you guys can see. 
uh, and and also don't forget it's a permanent loss so like I said now example you withdraw the thousand dollars you lose the contribution room so you you cannot like you can say oh next child get back the thousand no it's gone so example you you, you have been working constantly during the years and now you're up to 50,000 in room you pull out the whole 50,000 this year make sure you don't get it back it's gone so you're starting from zero so that's really something you gotta understand is that you lose the contribution room once you withdraw so that's you know that's kind of uh, it sucks <laughs> so uh so yeah so they kind of resumes the idea as one of the pros and cons of an rsp so that's about it for the video so i'm really uh get you guys ideas how what's the uh what's like you know the, the pros and cons i just want to kind of show you guys uh so i'm i hope this was kind of uh educated for you guys so uh until next time uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please follow me on Twitter. I have my link for Twitter in the descriptions and hit the thumbs up if you guys like the video uh, and also subscribe if you have not subscribed and also share. Uh, very important. And uh, so again, once again, thank you and have yourself a great day. Thank you.